Hello, welcome back to Ratropolis. Uh, what are we playing today? It's Leader Plus, but which map? Ah, it's Leader Plus on the desert. Very cool. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember how this works now. And then my next episode will be Navigator Forest. I remember. How you doing today? How's it going? I'm gonna open a window. I don't know if this is gonna affect the microphone. It's very windy today. And my microphone is in the path of the wind. So if you hear a light blowing sound, that is not me blowing on the microphone. That is the wind. I hope you're doing well today. I'm doing pretty good. I can't complain. It's Sunday afternoon, 3 p.m. Taking her easy. You know the deal. I have... I don't know, I've, I've been changing up what I've been doing with my time, and by that I mean I've basically spent, like yesterday instead of doing anything else I just did HTML for like the entire day. Well, that's not true, right? So I finished my recording and then I just started doing the HTML course I'm going through and, you know, took a break, worked out. Feeling good. It's, I've been... I feel like I'm making some positive changes. See where I can get with learning web design and the like. Bankruptcy? Nah. Take the house there. It's it's fun. I've been having a good time. I'm doing free code camp if you have done any thing from them. Restaurant, market, maybe double in. I think this is the start, right? We get a honey drink. I'm going for the service. I'll take the restaurant as well. I'll see if I can afford that wall, which I think I should be able to. But no, I've been, I've been going hard on it. I'm gonna hopefully finish the certification and then maybe, because I, I do, Right now, outside of this stuff, I was going to find... Oh, he died. Wow. I was, I was in the, in the market for a job, but that has, uh, you know. However, uh, due to current events, cannot take two houses here, I don't feel like. Due to current events, uh, perhaps I will be able to find some remote work, which would be pretty cool, right? So, I was like, what do I want to do? Well, I kind of want to do web design. That could be fun. So I've been learning web design. And in the last few days, I was just like, man, what if I just, like, spent all of my time doing this? But it wasn't like a, I have to spend all of my time doing this. It was just like a, man, I kind of want to do nothing right now. Except do web design stuff, like learn HTML and CSS. And it's pretty nice. I, I'm i not doing it like full on hardcore focus. I'm doing it at like, I would probably say about half my maximum focus level because I'm watching Critical Role on the side. Because the entire time I was like, well, ooh, Fletcher. Fletcher and Laborer, I think I will take Fletcher. Even though it's not Spitters, I think it's still good. But no, I always, I always stop myself from doing things like this because in my mind I go, yeah, I could, but then like, but I want to watch Critical Role, and that would hurt my efficiency. And then I realized, well, if I'm working at 50% efficiency, it's better than working at 0% efficiency. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's going pretty well. I'm having fun. I'm learning. I, I don't know if I feel like I'm learning a lot, but I feel like I am making progress right it's the sort of thing where and i actually watched a video on this today about how junior developers get stuck in tutorial hell where all of these tutorials are just follow along and do as i do and to a certain extent i think it's okay because programming is just a lot of learning syntax but also you have to understand how to apply that syntax, right? And that's what I'm doing. I think that Free Code Camp is pretty good for this because it is a 
Maybe I should put down some more guys. Oh well. I think we'll take a wall on the left side. I'm running out of space. I bought a lot of buildings. I also need to clear my throat. Give me a moment. There we go. I... I mean, do I just want to go labor again? Yeah, probably. And then we'll just take wall barn. Mm, watchtower, sure. But no, it's like you do the you do the projects and then or like you do you learn the concepts and I've been taking notes on the concepts. So every time that I come to a new concept, I just write down whatever they're talking about, whatever I'm learning, whatever the keyword is, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then from there, it's at the end of the section. Like I just reached the end of the HTML and CSS section. And so now I do like five or six projects that are, hey, here's a website, recreate this. And from this, I will then, I don't know, maybe try to make it a website of my own. But the problem there is just like, what am I gonna make, right? You got any good ideas for a website I could make? Feel free, let me know. The problem is there's nothing I can make that hasn't already been done by someone. There's no way, but. I will, I mean, you know, I could make something for Retropolis, actually. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute, hold up. What if I made a website about this game? What if I turned this list of events that I have not figured out what I want to do with into an interactive website? Oh, baby. Hang on, I gotta write that down. Now there's an idea. Write that bad boy right here. Event web site. Sorry, my my notepad is kind of far away. I did not expect to have to write anything down during recording, but boom, I got there. Genius. Now, of course, the problem with that, the big problem that I see is like, man, if I make and host a website like that, it's. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame you for being like, ooh, this seems like this seems kind of shady, right? But no. I I don't know what to tell you, basically. Uh, I also skipped that golden archer, and I will tell you why. It's because I do not have a... I just have these two inns, right? And that's those guys take two full minutes to give me 40 seconds. Oh, if you get six inns, all of your service units last forever. Well, not quite, but you know what I mean? You get six ins, and then you just play out all your service, and then you just give them 120 seconds, and then by the time that 120 seconds is up, your six ins are back again. This one look familiar to you? Laborer, Fletcher, Livestock, Grain, Potter, Guards, Gather? Because this, this looks kind of familiar to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just having a little deja vu. I mean, the deja vu is that we've literally played this run like a million times, but... Look, there's only so many common cards I can even get. I don't really, it's not like I'm sitting here passing up some other interesting early game common units. These guys are just insanely strong units. What can I do? A third in? Well, we're getting there. Base tax for plus three tax? Oh, buddy. Oh, that's money. You look at race tax and you go, man, next 15 seconds, that's crazy. But you actually think about it for a second and you go, oh, that's just three tax payouts. Like right now, if I were to take race tax and not, I wouldn't be able to play it multiple times, this card would be worth, what, nine gold? Oof, that's bad. Third in, though. I'm going to go for this and we're going to try it. Maybe I can get there. Because if I could get there, it'd be cool. It probably will be nuts. But wouldn't it be neato? I think. Anyway. We got two inns. I have no service units, so buying inns is definitely bold. But you might look at this and you may go take tax office. And you're right, but uh, I look at this and go, wow, I have 18 population and we're coming up on a boss wave. That's not where I want to be at this point. I've been passing up on the good stuff for some other stuff. Now, will these ends just turn out to be worthless? Mm, maybe. But what if? Right, imagine I get Golden Archer, I get these six ends out, just get a big stack of Golden Archers, and we just have a great time.
Realistically, uh, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna just have labor Fletcher guards forever. That seems to be like if if you're looking for your first victory with this game mode, I'm just gonna tell you, it's very easy. Fletcher, uh, labor guards, and then you get Taskmaster later in the game. Taskmaster, what's he called? I think he's called Taskmaster. Maybe Overseer, something like that. The dude who gives like 6,000 damage or something like that. Just ridiculous numbers. I think that everything else with the merchant is just way too inconsistent at this point. Maybe when it releases it'll be different, but right now I just... It's a little bit... It's a little bit shaky. Service cards are cool, but I struggle to see them... Not. I think they're good, but I don't think that they are... Hell? Oh, hey, there's a spider on my desk. I'll be right back. Alright, where were we? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I would like to tell you that I have defeated this spider in Mortal Kombat. However, I am not like that. The spider and I, we came to a nice mutual agreement. Came to an understanding. And uh, by that I mean I set a bottle down in front of his path so that he could climb in and then I would escort him to the outside and instead he just, you know, left. What do I mean by he just left? I mean he just kind of like crawled off my desk and then crawled away and I was like, eh, hey, whatever dude, have a good one. Understandable, have a nice day. I, look, I don't like spiders, but I like spiders, if that makes sense. So. That doesn't make sense, of course, which, which is why I'm about to elaborate. You see, I like spiders because having a spider means that he's going to set up a little, a little web and he's going to take care of any hoodlums, any delinquent insects who are going to uh, be around, right? Spiders are cool. However, uh, deep down inside, I feel a great uh, cringe. If, if that makes sense, but not in the sense of like, whoa, bro, look how you just posted cringe, but in the sense of like, oh, I don't like this sort of cringe, right? Whenever I see one. So I try to deal with them peacefully while also not having to go near them, which often does not end in anything productive happening, but you know. I mean, I'll probably never see this spider again. If I do, it'll be a few days from now and I'll go, oh man. There's that spider again. I've been offered three tax offices. I should really take them, but I need population. Look at all these inns I have and nothing to use them on. I can get to 100 seconds on my golden archers right now. But yeah, in conclusion, he, he crawled off behind a little box on the floor and we'll probably never see him again because that's typically how it goes with spiders. At least in my experience, your experience may vary, but for me it's like, yeah, there's a spider on my wall, and then he crawls off, and then I never see him again. I'm just, I'm very surprised that this one was on the desk, because, like, how the hell did he get on my desk? Where'd you come from? Did he climb, he must have climbed up the side. It looked like this spider wanted to, he wanted to escape. He was trying to get off the desk, but the way my desk is set up, he would, like, crawl over the edge, and then it's just got, it's got a little lip. And he would start to fall, but then eventually he just kind of free th he fucking threw himself off, basically. Fast repelled down like this was Rainbow Six. Would I take higher here? Eh, I don't know. Also, I just- okay, this is called Arrow Shower. Because there's three golden arrows. For a moment I was like, is this card called Golden Shower? They wouldn't do that, right? Ah, we're good. I think I will... I think I'll take a house. I don't know, man. Taking higher, similar to taking like anything right now, I feel like it's a trap. We're building up our money. We are getting somewhere, I would say. Oh, you know, there was a. I had a temporary fear, which was that I was not going to be able to upload YouTube videos anymore because the YouTube uploader is getting changed. They are getting rid of YouTube Classic because. 
they're forcing everyone onto YouTube Studio. If you don't know what that means, they're basically taking out the one that's old and everyone's used forever because they've made a new one that they want people to use. And, you know, I'm not against change, don't get me wrong. I have no problems. So you want to hit me with a new uploader? Sure, dude. The problem that I face is that the new uploader, in most circumstances, and by most circumstances I mean I've never had it work for me, it doesn't work for me. Old Nurture. Look, I who would I be if I don't take this here? We got the service buildings, I gotta do something with this. I cannot not. But yeah, basically, uh, they were- I don't, I don't think I talked about this at all. I'm gonna do a quick, uh, fighter check just to see if he's around. Just keeping my eyes peeled, you never know. He might creep up on me. He was- it was pretty small, probably, like, it was probably, like, the- depending on the size of your hands, like, maybe the size of your, like, the tip of your pinky, if that makes sense. Like, he's very tiny. Everyone's got different sized hands, so that's a terrible comparison. He's probably, like, one-fourth of the size of a bottle cap, maybe, is a better way to put it. These are some good buildings. Yeah, he, was a, he was a tiny little spider, which is another great reason why I'm not going to fight him off. He's not that bad. I'm a friend to all spiders. Look, if you're watching this and you're a spider, I just want you to know, I'm a friend. Please do not- if you're a venomous spider and you're watching this, please don't bite me in my sleep and send me to the shadow room. I would prefer that not happen. But yeah. Uh, what I found out, because this new YouTube uploader that they're putting out and forcing me onto, it seems very nice, don't get me wrong. I'm like, yeah, I would use this, except I can't. It does not upload my videos. My videos get like 15% uploaded and then the upload resets. So I did a little test today. And I found that the problem, as is often the problem, it seems, with anything that goes wrong with YouTube for me, was I use Firefox. And I was like, you know, there's a chance that this is just a problem with Firefox. And it is. Uh, somehow no one has uh, pointed that out anywhere. But yeah, I just, I tried uploading a video with Chrome. Uploaded in that uploader in like 10 seconds. Now to be fair, it, was, it wasn't like a video of this size or caliber. It was a small video, but still. It uploaded quite quickly. And so problem solved. A disaster that you didn't even know was coming, averted. I'm waiting to start firing off with these golden archers until I get honey drink, recontract, something like that. A sip of my drink, make sure there's not a spider in it. You see, this is, this is the real thing. When I see a spider, for the rest of the day, I will be checking everything. Even though, like, logically speaking, I've been keeping an eye on where he crawled off to. There's no way that he has snuck up on me. I'm still like, is there a spider in this drink? This drink that has been sealed for the last, like, 15 minutes? I wasn't going 15 minutes. I was, it was probably like three, five minutes of me just kind of chilling there going, what are you doing, Mr. Spider? I will feel a spider crawling on me for the entire day. Also, look at our tax from this double tax office. Holy moly. 42 tax. Now if I had a raise tax, right? This is a great one for service because... We have... So we have a good population. We have... We have upgrade to 30, 36, huh? I'm taking a recorder here. Good population, we have good income. I can do whatever I want here. I just need you to give me... Oh man, pass in the drugstore. I really want it though. Like, I really would like it though. I'm gonna refresh. Yeah, I didn't get it. It's fine. The apartment is good enough, I guess. Unfortunate. I'm gonna start playing them out just because I want to see some of them on the field. Right? Yeah. Nowhere for this apartment to go though, huh? No space. I've done it again. This is just like, I'm actually having a lot of trouble with this lately. I guess we can try and just build up a few of them? I don't know. And then pop the triple in to keep them out. 
I mean, shit, dude, our one Fletcher could probably wipe out entire waves because of these arrows. Right? And by probably, I mean you would. You would actually just wipe out entire waves. I think that... I think there just needs to be more service cards, and then service becomes better. Add another in. Oh, delivery seems like a sick card, by the way. Like, I think this card's pretty strong. I might be wrong. If only I could take that in. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna remove pottery here. Yeah. I'm gonna go and say goodbye, potter. I think I also might just make enough money to redraw? I don't know. Do I? Probably not. I mean, I definitely don't, but I can still dream. These golden archers, they're timing out. It just, it feels like a waste to drop these three ins just to give them an extra little bit of time. I'm waiting, I'll get it there eventually. I need more laborers out here, what the hell, I have no front line. What am I doing? We can drop some money though, we got the money to spend. Look at all those livestocks we got going. I dream of a world where I will make these golden archer runs work. One day I will face it. Sorry, I had to sneeze. I was not pausing. Sorry, there was a second sneeze. I was not pausing in awe of the honey drink. But we got it. So all of a sudden, things don't seem like they're so impossible. And with the triple in, and we got these guys forever. If we got three golden archers on the right side forever. How oh, cool. This is the one, right? This is the service run of my dreams. Probably what it'll be titled. Oh, I didn't mean to put Fletcher. I meant to put Labor. My mistake. The thing is, do I need service on this run? No, I don't. We, we are absolutely fine. We have 42 tacks. We got all... I mean, maybe we do, actually, for the next half. The next 10 waves might actually be trouble. I don't know. What I do need is I need a wall. I think the merchant comes on. I actually do not remember when this merchant comes. It's now, right? I think he comes on 19. Maybe he comes after 20. Huh. I don't remember. No, he does come on 19. I've played this game before. Probably. Me... Wall? Caravan. Mixed cards from card bag and card tomb. For each mixed card, plus five gold. I have not seen this card a single time before right now. I don't think... I don't think this is good. No, I don't think this is good. What I do think is good is Brotherhood. We're doing it, we're getting the service run. I'm sorry, Labor, you've been replaced. This is it, boys. We're finally doing it. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> this rock has actually ruined me. Is there a two space I can put this tax office? All right, we're good. I have no money, I've spent it all. Walk around talking about gold like I ain't got none. What you think? I spent it all? Because I did. But Dr. Dre's Forgot About Dre. An all-time American classic. Except that, you know, it's not actually Dr. Dre's Forgot About Dre. It's me saying a edit to that, that is apt to this Ratropolis run. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop a flat shirt of arrow in here and get rid of all of that. Cool. 20 more population. We are doomed when it comes to money. But when we're doomed for money, what better time to take commission, am I right? We're not actually that doomed, we have 84 tax, by the way. Which is, and this is true, a lot. 
Hey, your brotherhood got upgraded. Does he get plus 12? Holy moly. So just for having the wall... Like just, just for just for playing him at this wall, he gets like a lot of health. I'm not gonna try and do the math because as we've learned, I'm very bad at doing math when I'm playing Retropolis. As I've learned, when I play this game, my brain breaks. I cannot do math. It's a lot of health. Drop these ends. I need collect or lottery, right? Yeah, I think so. Look at all of these army cards we have going here, too. Well, let's see how Golden Archer does. I mean, it's really, it's down to Golden Archer carrying, right? Golden, oh my god, he gets 276 health. Holy shit, Brotherhood is insane. I'm telling you, this card is nuts. The second I saw Brotherhood, I went, this guy is out of control, dude. Oh, sorry, did not mean to bump him over here. Fighter check real quick, do I see him anywhere? No, I do not. I think we're good. I think that he has moved on to greener pastures. Or he's uh, waiting to strike at the moment I least expect it. I'm not playing any more guards on this It's all Golden Archer from here, baby. We gotta remember to drop a honey drink on the right side as well. No recontract means I gotta be a little careful. Alright, I could very easily lose everything here. Oh, we're gonna get the honey drink upgraded. Things don't look bad. Like, things look great, honestly. Golden Archer Brotherhood, this is it. The Fletcher has carried me to this position, and now I shall see it to its end. We got, well, one more card to upgrade off of that commission, and then we can start building up our money again. We got, we got 10, we got 5th, I want like a, yeah, 15 baseline is pretty good. 15 baseline being 10 Fletchers, 5 cards, just for the sake of the Brotherhood. Oh my god, this is 516 gold when it's upgraded? What in the world? Do you have any idea how much gold that is? Oh lord. Oh my goodness. 516 gold. Alright, I can now let the... Oh, we actually, we have the livestock combo now, right, as was hypothesized. Livestock plus gather level 2 leads us to infinite value, kind of, as I keep letting units time out because of my inability to multitask. This card's pretty cheap. Refresh. Another tax office. Yo, I want that tax office. I don't think I can play it. I don't have any room. I want it. I don't think I can take it though. Alright, so to make ourselves a little money, we're just gonna do this and see if it works. Oh, also the triple in is ready. So what are we at? We're at three golden archers, four brotherhoods. Three golden archers, three brotherhoods. One of them is about to time out. Now it's not an infinite in the sense that it's going to let me play out infinite cards. It's just an infinite in the sense that I get infinite. No, 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 no. There we go. Because I had 60 seconds. These brawlers are pretty beefy as well. You get some really healthy boys on these runs, I gotta say. Look at these dudes. The mass. They don't do a lot of damage, but still. And also this wave. This dude came over here, but there was nothing for him to hit. He just got up against the wall. I don't really know what the optimal setup is here. Create a card just because I think I want that. Oh yeah, accountant for sure. But you get 25 seconds on the later waves here, huh? Because it was 15 earlier. 15 earlier as in like waves 1 through 10 are definitely 15 seconds, I checked. I have no money. Golden Archer is so ridiculous. Like these golden cards are so expensive. Like, absurdly money intense. I respect it, though. Because in theory, Golden Archer is worth it. Five, 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 five. Like, these five Golden Archers are going to do 150 damage per volume. On the population. 
That's where the confusion lies. It doesn't really matter. I think we're pretty good. I think that Brotherhood is the strongest service card. There's no doubt in my mind that this episode is titled The Strongest Service Card, and I may bait you into thinking that it is Golden Archer, but there is no way that it's not Brotherhood. Look at these sick boys. You drop them down on these walls, they get like a thousand health. They don't get a thousand health, they get 218. Or more. 312. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. That's a thick boy. 312. Oof, that's a lot of health. For two population? Like, come on. The downside being that he lasts 60 seconds, but this is the kind of service card that I go, oh, wow. Three, this dude, he gets 312 health on top of his 75 baseline. My man has, like, almost 400 health, right? He's got 387. That is a lot of health. Like, these six dudes, they have to go through, like, 1,500 damage. And the inns are starting to stack up. Yeah, alright. We did it. We got a service run. How's it feel? What the fuck? Oh. I don't know if it's coming across on the microphone. The, the very strange, loud noise happening. Look, I'm recording these in the afternoon, and... As I had expected, we will hear many strange noises coming from the rural countryside at 4 p.m. on a Sunday. I'm pretty sure someone's like cutting down a tree. I'm trying to see. I have no idea. I don't know if you can even hear it, but I'm pretty sure someone's like cutting down a tree at 4 p.m. At first, I thought it was just someone screaming. Then I took my headphones off and I went, Oh, that's not screaming, that's the noise of, like, I have no idea what. I don't even have a guess what that noise is. Other than strange. Hopefully you don't mind the odd noises. I gotta have the windows open, though. It's pretty hot. I must say. But... I don't know, man. One of the upsides of recording these at night was that all the weird people are asleep and i record these in the afternoons and it's like it's better for my day but in terms of strange background noise there's gonna be a lot more of it i don't i don't even like I'll, maybe i'll watch it back and just see if you can even hear it i don't know maybe it was quiet because i know it didn't trigger the noise gate I, when i stopped talking you couldn't hear it but that doesn't mean that it didn't come across when i was i killed a brother when I was silent. Very strange noises happen. I gotta say. These people, they just... They do whatever the hell they want. And what they want is to make weird noises at 2 p.m. 4, uh, 4 p.m., excuse me. A little later than I normally be recording. Also, whatever it was is just like, they're done. Whatever noise, whatever was going on out there, it's over. That was it. They just made their weird noises for a minute, and then they're like, Alright, we're good. Pack it in, boys. Very, very messy episode, right? I can't deny. Get attacked by a spider. Fucking background noise made by a chainsaw. Maybe someone impersonating a chainsaw. Maybe, maybe I'm just hearing things. Maybe I'm the chainsaw. I'm not sure. Every now and then, though, like, I, I, don't, I don't think this one's coming across, but every now and then, someone across the street is just going, woo. Ow. Oh, earthquake now? Come on. I'm telling you, it's, it's strange. It's not that strange, it's just, like, these people are... They're living their lives, but... I wish they would just live their lives, like, I have decibels quieter, so that I didn't have to hear it. That's all. Despite being 22, I have the demeanor of a 80-year-old man angry at his neighbors for making too much noise. No, I'm not that mad. Just like, not, just like a touch. I don't know, I'd be lying to you if I said I was angry. 
I'm furious. Don't you know I'm recording Ratropolis? It's the most important thing that's gonna happen today. Don't make noise. This episode's such a mess though, holy shit. We got, we got six, nine, we got seven, four. Ooh. The Golden Archer stack is actually getting somewhere. I'm glad I didn't pick higher. I think that my enjoyment of higher is maybe wrong. I think that higher might not be as good as I expect. Or think. Take the leader level, it doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm starting these waves, we're strong. I gotta get out of here before someone decides to, I don't know, set off TNT outside for the heck of it. Maybe, maybe someone's gonna see what happens if you try to approach the sound barrier just by running. And sc maybe, they're, maybe they're gonna see if they can scream loud enough to break the sound barrier. All of these things could happen outside my window. Um, you know, it's not like if I, if I finish this recording, it's just gonna all stop. I got two more recordings to do today. This episode is also very loud. Brotherhood is a very loud man. He's the sound of... He's got the same sound effect as... I'm going labor in effect minus two second redraw time. Okay. Oh, hey, recontract. Right on time. We can get this down one time. Let's see how much time it gives me. Let's get the honey drink in here first. Ah, like 137 seconds. He's getting like two minutes on most of our units there. The spider, right? Oh, does it show you which side the spider's spawning on now, by the way? I think it does if you hover it. One of those guys just gained like 500 seconds. Huh. Oh gosh. Maybe I shouldn't just take it easy here? I could lose. Get some honey drinks in here. Yeah, recontract it builds up. Like, look at their health bars though. Some of these guys are not even injured. Throw in a honey drink or two. 400 seconds on their timer. And in on there as well. This is a really fun run. Uh, does this change my opinion on service cards? Nah. I mean, my opinion on service cards is like, yeah, they're good, but uh, why go service when you can go brawler and just have a good economy as well? The answer to that question is just like, I have 103 tax because I've been offered like six tax offices this run. And you can do whatever the hell you want when you get offered 103 tax worth of population. Or, you know what I mean. But no, like six, like if you can if you can sustain this, six Brotherhood, eight full Archers, and then like just a bunch of Guards or Fletchers or whatever you want for the Brotherhoods to have health. Like look at these guys. 384 health. I know it. I, I knew it as soon as I saw him for the first time. This guy is broken. This guy's the strongest service card for sure. And I'm ready to say for sure, strongest service card in Ratropolis is Brotherhood. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.